Welcome back. So next big thing we are going to learn here is uh, cost function. You might have heard this term many times throughout the presentation I'm doing. So we have one previously trained model or we are going to train some model which is going to do a kind of predictions on some of the data inputs. So now we have to quantify the output errors specially. So the difference between the actual levels and the predicted levels we have from the network. So we have to quantify these sort of errors. Okay. This particular term or concept is called uh, or being calculated using the cost function. Here particularly we are going to discuss about the two different kind of cost function. First thing is that quadratic cost function. Okay, sometimes this is also known as mean square error. Okay, so I have written down the equations uh, already. So the cost function is equal to the sum of errors between true class and predicted true values and the predicted values square of it and we are taking the average to explain the uh, components here here y is the true class and y hat is basically the predicted class let's use it as predicted values okay x is the true values and y is the predicted values we are taking the difference then difference and we are uh, we are taking the square of it so the, the difference would be bigger much bigger than whatever it is and it would be independent of the kind of uh, uh, directions like whether this is positive this is higher or negative okay uh, basically the sign we are sign of the errors we are uh, ignoring and we are expanding the errors uh, uh, with the squares then we are taking some of all these errors for uh, the data set or training data set or test data sets for each and every uh, examples we are training and we are dividing it the number of uh, training set or training data or uh, validation data uh, number of validation records or samples and we are getting the average mean square uh, average uh, square error or mean square error here. All right, pretty simple equations. But uh, the problem with this equation is that this is when we are applying these things in specially for uh, any classifications uh, kind of problem. The training process takes longer time. Okay, uh, normally the derivative of these cost functions is a key component for something called gradient descent you will you will understand it a little later where we will reduce the weights and biases by a small amount every iterations depending on the kind of error it is doing that the small amount which we are going to deduct from each and every weights and biases depends on the derivative of this cost function okay the the bigger problem for this quadratic function is that yes you can you can quantify the amount of error you are doing every time but when you are going to use those uh, those errors or cost to readjust the weights and biases the training process takes longer time okay it is a bit slow that's why another smart uh, cost function and advanced cost functions that is uh, the cross entropy. We have many flavors of it, and that is uh, categorical cross entropy, binary cross entropy, and similar sort of things. But in general, this is another kind of cost functions. Okay, here also we have uh, let me read the equations, this kind of uh, complex looking equations. Uh, we'll start from here. It is taking true class into the natural log of predicted class plus 
uh, plus 1 minus true class value and natural log of 1 minus predicted class value. Okay, so and then we are taking the average of it for all the samples we have to predict and then we are taking the negative sign basically negative of it okay so true class values into the natural log of predicted class value plus 1 minus true class value into natural log of 1 minus predicted class values okay if you can memorize this thing this is very good or this you can write it down the biggest advantage of it is that when we are doing the gradient descent okay so the derivative of this particular cost function will help to learn the the weights and biases very fast okay the the bigger the errors are the learning process will happen very fast and when we reach toward the very close errors the learning process will slow down a little bit okay or it will slow down so to with this advantage this is kind of most one of the most popular <coughs> uh, cost functions currently available and uh, so it's being wisely used especially for multi-class classifications or binary classification problems okay so so you have learned uh, the concept of cost functions the purpose of these cost functions are to quantify the amount of errors we are doing with our predictions okay and uh, the purpose of calculating this cost function is to calculate the delta of weights and biases like small adjustment which we are going to do during each and every training iterations with these uh, through these networks that the delta w or delta of weights and biases are being directly calculated from the derivative of or small changes of these one of these cost functions all right so <clears throat> next big thing we are going to discuss is about gradient descent okay